In this video, I'll create the silhouette effect. Now, silhouettes were very popular from around about 1790 to 1840, but the invention of the camera singled the end of the silhouette as a widespread form of portraits. The skill was not lost as travelling silhouette artists continued to work in, uh, in state fairs and uh, other venues. I'll close this file off. Load our image. Now I'll use the magnifying glass to select around the area that I'm going to use as the silhouette because normally it's not the whole image. Now I select the free select tool and then choose around here very carefully. When you get to curves you go multiple ones and of course you come up and go around the headline. Now because the silhouette was a very form of cutout there was no need for the fine details of the hair. So you've got to try and follow the headline as much as you can. So continue around your image using the free select tool or the lasso tool as some people call it and once you get the curves you can take it nice and steady and go around nice and tight. Now I'll pause the video to continue on. Now I'm back to my start you'll see it change colour. Click on there and it makes the selection. Now it's pretty rough the uh, that type of selection so I go to select and toggle the quick mask. Now with the toggle with this quick mask I can still use the magnifying glass because if I use it while I was going around with the free select tool it'll switch off. So I'll go and make a nice selection around there. Now you can see how I've missed some of the lips. I go to the, uh, the eraser tool choose a brush which I've got a fuzzy one and that's a good size. Now I can re enlarge that once again to get that real fine detail I want around the lips and the nose. So I go back to my eraser tool and just slightly erase it around there and you can tidy up all that sort of what you may have missed. Now I'll come around here on the lips that's not too bad. A little bit there around the neck. Now you can come down here to the crosshairs and you'll see the image come up and you can move around and choose other parts where you may have uh, cut a bit sh sharp in the areas. Come around here. That's okay. That's alright because it's, uh, it's got to be a silhouette cut out. Okay, we come back down here because I have some area where I went over. Now I go to the paintbrush. I've still got my fuzzy brush and the, the size of that one there. And now I just paint that over there with a, with a bit more of the quick mask. Now the fuzzy brush prevents it coming too close to where I want. That should do it. Now I can go to select and, and turn off the quick mask. There's another idea, you can cho choose it down there, the quick mask, you can see there. But I choose, I like to select, to go to select because it's easy in the demonstration. Now I come back to a size that I can work with, 25%. Now I go to edit and I copy that to the clipboard. I go back to edit and I paste it back in there. Now while it's still got the floating selected layer, I grab the black and just drag it in and drop it into the uh, selection. Now I can make the full layer. Otherwise it will, uh, it will fill in the whole lot. Now I'll turn the eye off on this one. Make a new layer. Move it below the, our cutout. Go to my blend tool. And choose a gradient. I've got a gradient there which is the purples 
and I'll just drag it across my portrait. I'll go back to the top layer. Now I move it the uh, so I've got pretty well the centre. I go to my move tool and click move the active layer button. And now I move the, the cutout to the centre of the background. Right click the top layer and flatten image. Just export your file as normal. You need to export as and then just give it a name and then save it. So rate the video and uh, thank you for watching.